Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Lover for the PC. Yes, you heard me. I am doing the PC version. Even though I originally planned to do the N64 version through RetroArch, um, it had some graphical glitches such as being able to see items through walls. And after giving us a thought, I was like, um, maybe I shouldn't bother with it because it'll look ugly. So you know what, we're doing the Steam version. Even though, you know, we all know that there's a little bit of an issue with like the uh, publishers of this version. Not being a fan of game preservation, but I wasn't going to do the PS1 version either, because that one's god-awful. But anyway, this was one of the bonus games in the Christmas special. Let's give it a try. Uh, we're going to do a new game. Hopefully the default controls for uh, PC isn't too bad. The castle. The wizard. Just chuck him in there. The accident! Why don't I reinforce the floor? The crystals! The transformation. Oh, I need these balls. Lover. Ditch. All right, I haven't even tested it out with the controls. Hopefully it will not be a disaster. But I have like practices with the N64 version, so I have a gist on like certain mechanics. Hi, my name is Mr. Tip. If you want any hints, just speak to me. You can do this by standing near me and pressing B. Oh, by the way, you can press and hold B if you ever lose your ball. Good luck. Alright, so it's pretty much Xbox controls. Okay, it's over there. Okay, the well is where you go to practice. Okay, that's the button I need to dribble. That can help me out in some points. I did it. Of course, you can double jump, which is nice. Can I rotate to the camera with this C stick? Or rather, just the right analog stick? Yes, I can. Oh, it's inverted. I can't change it? Seriously? So I think I gotta go through this world next. Since I put the ball into the fountain, it opened up a hub for me. Okay, there's a whole bunch of levels you can go through. This one, I need to get all the Garabs, which are these cards you'll find throughout the levels. So we gotta do this level first. This shouldn't be too bad. That fish over there, you can't even kill it. You can stun it, or you're better off just trying to juke by him. I'll try my best to get every Garab in the game. I can't guarantee that I will. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get off the ball. And I'll just get the Garabs on my own. Okay, left trigger will allow me to do the ground pound. It's gonna be very helpful against certain enemies. And certain switches, too. Also, before I go any farther, there's actually a... Oh, I 
need to get the ball in there. It's actually a secret right here. But I have to like keep jumping against it. And then you can knock it down. There's even a one up there too. Like I remember that from when I tried the N64 version because it would actually show me the cards and the one up without me even knowing they were there. I kept trying to pick them up. I was like, why was it not working? And that's when I found out they were behind the pillar the entire time. Okay, so when you're on the water like this, you gotta go in the opposite direction. Okay, right bumper transforms the ball. You might have to do that certain for certain things. There we go. I'll come back. I think you get more points if you pick up the Garabs using the ball or pick up so many in a row. But points don't really mean anything for me. All I care about is just staying alive. Also, depending on oh, when this video or this playthrough is coming up. Oh, I got the achievement. Atlantis complete. This game is also coming up for Switch, but it's the same version as this. There we go, that's our way out. But I need to go out with the ball. So let me go get it. Just so we're aware, there's not a speed run by obvious means. Because <laughs> I'm not that great in the game. I've only practiced, what, a couple levels? And this is the only one I actually finished before I gave up and decided, yeah, this is not gonna work. Dang. Oh, right, it's left bumper that allows me to switch to that. I'll have to remember that for next time. Yo! Yeah. Thank god there's not like a five finger glove. This game would not have been released for kids. Alright, next level. Okay, this one, if I remember. Okay, just don't slap with the regular ball. Wait! Did it not fall to a pit? Seriously? From there? Okay, I think I need to transform this into a bowling ball. Let me try that again. There. That works. If I remember correctly, yeah, there are some carrots over there too. I'll get them myself. So yeah, if the ball falls into a pit, or if it pops, you die. Keep that in mind. Why did it move like a cow? That sounded weird, don't you think? You can also throw the ball, too. Remember that, that could actually help you out. Especially if you need to like throw it up a, a tall cliff. I'll show you if, whenever we get around to need to use it. So far it's not now. This is actually pretty catchy too. I like it. First time I ever played this game, was actually at my cousin's house, because he had the N64 version of Glover. And fortunately, we were never able to beat it. I think we just struggled a lot with the physics of this game at the time. I think we would have done better with it now. 
Then again, I don't know if he ever plays video games anymore. This has been so many years. Hold up real quick. Is that the platform that I rode to get up here, making that much noise? Why is it constantly doing that? Okay, now it stopped. Good lord, that was irritating. Huh? Looks like there's Garrett's down there. Try to get down there. I didn't imagine that, did I? Chris, where I saw some of the lower level. Unless I'm able to get in there. Weird. Yeah, see? Maybe there's another way to get in there. Maybe that's part of a, some other place. Oh, hold on, I know what to do. Can I transform? Not when I'm riding the ball like this. Watch this. Oh, hang on, I know what to do. Watch this. Yeah, see? Just make it the steel ball. how you drain the water. So I didn't even need to go into steel ball mode. Oh, damn it. The good thing about these checkpoints is that at least you can just like fast travel to them, I guess. Yeah, you can actually just go to the other checkpoints. If you miss something, you can go back. Cool approach to the game. Also, how do I get up there? Because I think you gotta get up there. Okay, I got an arc on it. I think you're supposed to be able to get up there to get more Garrups. Alright, I had to look it up online. It turns out there was a trick, but I was doing it wrong. What you need to do is get over here. And you have to do the ground pound on the ball. Which also launches you up. Also, it turns out there was another area I could have gone to. Oh, there's fall damage.
Okay, it just sent me to checkpoint three. How do I go to the other one? Stop sending me to three! I want to go to two or one! I'm pressing buttons and none of them work. Forget it, I'll just walk on foot. Up there now. Why are these guys back? Oh my god, I'm betcha I'm gonna have to learn how to use the checkpoint system. Alright, maintain control. Why even make this an option, then? If you're not gonna let me do it! This is awful. Alright, make myself big and strong. I bet you I can go up the incline better. Yeah, you can do it. Oh my god, I killed the ball, and now I gotta do all this again. There's gotta be something I'm doing wrong that won't let me go back to the other checkpoints. Oh my- Fuck you, game. Give me the ball. Yeah, you're supposed to go over here. You see that? Piss off, fish. There, you can get the rest of them there. and get the rest of the rest of them. There you go. Now I can use the checkpoint I want to. Can you only do that for levels you've already cleared? So that seems kind of stupid. Anyway, that's the end of that stage. That took way longer than it needed to. Okay, this music kind of bops. It's kind of weird that this game, like, it can be good, and then sometimes it can be really frustrating. However, the soundtrack is pretty damn killer. Get away. You are done. Splashing sound effect getting repetitive is not a fan of it. Can I get those? Can I get up there? Yes, I can. I just did. There's 80 Garabs in this level. That's oh, that's a lot of cards. I might be here a while. <laughs> looks like there's something down there too. However, right, let me hit this. Oh wait, I need the ball for that. I need to get the ball all the way up here. I 
have to go this way. Maybe more Garrick's for the taking. Oh, speaking of which... I see a life up there, too. How am I gonna reach that? It's all the way up there. You can move faster with the ball, don't you? Yeah, I think you do. So while this makes it less likely for you to die by accident, it's slower. Okay, at least you can carry more than... carry around double digits amount of lives. That's neat, I guess. That's not even half the Garabs in this level. What the hell? Yeah, this is a big stage. So yeah, we'll see if I actually feel like collecting them all. So I mean, you get like a secret level, but you don't get a special, like a really, really good ending for it. Like it's good enough. So, but it's not vital to complete the game. Oh, there's the ball. You're lucky you are mandatory for completing the game. You and your other ball brethren. I know this is going to be a pain in the ass. Why do I keep slapping it? I meant to do this! Because it doesn't get me far enough. go down it's a bowling ball it should sink look at this yeah steel ball will save me not like that oh this is gonna be a bit tedious I'm pretty sure you could just like run on the edge of that <laughs> I'm just not sure if I should run on the edge of that. Uh-oh. You slow down even one microsecond and it's over. Yeah, I don't know if I should trust myself to do this. Oh! Oh my god, I almost made it. So it's doable. Also, I'm worried about this form, because if it breaks, you can't even dribble it either. If it breaks, you die. <laughs> now I can go that way too. Yeah, there's like more than way to one way to do this, isn't there? But I kind of want to do this way. It's staring me in the face. How can I not go for it? Hmm. Is it just me, or is the steel ball actually smaller? And there you're more likely to make it across this in this ball. I 
I don't think that was the intended way to do it, but it was a way. That's the beauty of video games. There's always new ways to overcome certain challenges. Okay, that allows you to get over there. Okay, that was pretty cool. Now, the question is, was that worth it? Because like, if I could have gone that way, and it would have been way easier, then I just wasted everyone's time, including my own. Uh, you just wait right here. Would you roll away now? Wait. Could that potion have got me through there? Yeah, it makes you go faster. Oh my god, I could have used this the whole time. Well, huh. that was pointless, what I just did. trust leaving the ball down there because it's just gonna fall right off. Yeah, let me get these pumps. Then I'll probably go back to the checkpoint. Excellent. Less beams in my way. What the fuck? Why did it still roll down there? Oh, I could have gone the life if I just gone there. Oh, okay, that works. Also, why does the ball stay over there? These guys are dead. But at the same time, there's their corpses are still there. Can they just keep stacking? Because that looks kind of hideous. I don't know if I like that. many cards. But I'd like to at least try. And I'm missing 13. And we're not even at the end of the level, so... We'll go this way. Yeah, it is slightly faster. That made me a bit nervous. Oh, there's a button. Let's hit it. Ah. A few ledges. Let's see where this will take us. Takes us for some kind of weird monolith thing is. What if we touch it? Oh, you just get warped. Well, 
Do I need to be strong? I don't think it matters. Why did it make my uh, movement stunted? That was a trap. I'm dead. Alright, let me get back in there again. Did I not activate another tell checkpoint? No, I don't think I did. Wow, this is... This is shaping up to be a rough playthrough already, and it's only been part one. The flip? <laughs> I go back in there. Can't believe I just fell for the same trap of, like, activating a certain device, keep using it repeatedly, only to eventually die. I have not learned my lesson from Star Tropics. But anyway, let's try that again. With, you know... Less fucking up. Oh, wait a minute, let me try going up the wall. Oh, that's what it does. It doesn't make you stronger. It lets you walk on the wall. Even though the perspective is just kind of wonky. I don't like it. Get over there! Glover! Oh my god. It's like I'm inverted in one direction and not inverted in the other. There aren't any other cards here. There. I don't think so. That's how I get back. I was wondering about that. Camera. Oh my... Dude. Yeah, I'm dead. Again. Fuck's sake. I keep hitting the wrong button because I'm so used to N64 controls. And it's shagging me off every time. Well, at least I don't have to go that way anymore. So that's a plus. that balloon? That signifies the end of the level, doesn't it? What's up here? Actually, nothing. I was really expecting there to be cards. What if I go this way? Aha! There's the last of them. What else is over here? Nothing. Why does that path exist? Anyway, let's just finish the level. This one is actually exhausting me. 
But that's only part one. Let me in. It was the finish after all. God, almost 17 minutes. And power was 4 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> I think I'm at- oh yeah, I'm at the boss now. It's cross stitch. Oh, hello. It's brought minions. Resist the whale. Can you hit it on the sides? It looks like targets on the cheeks. Killed a little fish. Wait, did I die instantly? No, it only did one damage. Well, it's hurting the whale, but it's also hurting me. There we go. I did something. Now it's darker for some reason. Got him! You only needed the ball for one part. And the rest of it you can do it yourself. Atlantis is not cleared. Oh, we unlocked the bonus level? Uh, do I want to try it? You know what? Let's try it. We got time. Uh-oh. Oh! Now the A button just lets you jump forward. Hey, I've cleared the bonus! I did it. That didn't count as a life against me, did it? No. I don't think so. Alright, let's try it again. There must have been a way to, like, use your tongue, is there? Okay, left trigger, okay. Oh, that's gonna be weird. One button lets you jump really far, and the other one lets you jump so little. Why can't it just be, like, movement? Like the D-pad or the stick? Why does that have to be something so convoluted? like six minutes for it. Oh, yeah, this is why I hate it. Because the lily pads sink. 
Alright, forget it. I'm not even gonna bother with this. Let's just go to the next hub. What a miserable bonus. You can't even control it very well. Why would I do it? Okay, it's gotta open the hub that's pretty much on the left side of the other one. This one. I think it goes in proportion of what one, what fountain, or what crystal is put on the fountain. So it's pretty much facing this one. This looks like some kind of pirate level. Um, I think we'll just call it here. And in the next episode, we'll go, uh, take on the pirate world. See everyone, thanks for watching.